Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing some random little figures and one Power Rangers figure. And I got this from five bucks from the Roville Exchange. This is two of my last in-packaged figures. So I will be opening up a couple in-packaged figures somewhere in the future. This is the first one I'm opening up. I got one more to open. But before we look at this, we're going to look at the little figures. First on the list, we got a little 2003 Shredder, a.k.a. Moroku Saki. And yeah, he is definitely a cool little minifigure. No leg articulation, but he does have some arm articulation. So he can be like, now you face the Shredder. <laughs> Take this, turtles. I am your doom. His head doesn't move. But now, for comparison, here he is next to my 2012 Shredder. They both are pretty good. I like this one a little bit better than this one. But I did pick up a third Shredder when I went to the flea market. So yeah, I went to the North for Sales flea market. Yeah, I may try to go again. I don't know. Maybe somewhere I'll try to go again after I do the Goodwill outlet and that place is local. I may I'll have to take off a Saturday or something and head back in to see what kind of goodies I can get. It'll be somewhere after July and August. I'll think about it. So yeah, that's all there is to say for the little shredder figure. Next on the list, we got some Masters of the Universe. We got Stratos. Here we got Stratos next to Skeletor. And Skeletor's most lethal monster, it's Beastman. Avenge me, Beastman. I got that from Robot Chicken, so that's as well as I can speak in Skeletor. So that's all there is to say for the Master of the Universe little figures. I don't have any articulation. But I have some Masters of the Universe. And now it's time for the most important item. The Power Rangers Ranger Slayer Pink Ranger Kimberly. Retro Morph Figure. And I got this for five bucks, so we're going to open this up. Get the figure out of the packaging, if I can get it to work. Might keep the box. It's a really good artwork to keep the box, so I'll keep the box. Now I'm going to pull Evil Ranger Kimberly out of the packaging. From the Ultimate Universe, if I can get the packaging, let go of her. There goes her blaster and her power bow. It's not Kimberly without the power bow. I hope they do a re-ish, do another one on the actual Pink Ranger. But yeah, we got two of these things. If I can get her to hold her weapon, which is being fussy for me. I'm gonna have to do that off camera. Fussy, fussy hands. Sorry if I have to do this off camera. It's being a pain in the neck. If I can get it to work in any hand, that would be good. Now I got it in her hand. Almost got it. I 
And now she's finally holding the power bow in her hand. Articulation, she's got bends at the elbow. And her head can flip out. And there we got the evil Kimberly from another universe. And she's got her power bow ready to be... I will get you, Rangers, if it's the last thing I do. And there's her regular head. And she can hold her little blaster. Power. Her little blaster. I forget what they called it in the Mighty Morphin universe, but... Blade Blaster. That's what they called it. Not, well, not Blade Blaster. It was something like that. But otherwise, this is a good-looking figure. And for five bucks, this is not bad for this figure. For comparison, here we got my first Retro Morph. It is the leader of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Jason himself. And there's still plenty more I'm missing. I need to get Ninjor, the Black Ranger. Um, who else? The Blue Ranger, Green Ranger, White Ranger. And then I got this whole set of Retro Morph except for the Yellow Ranger. And then this will be a worthwhile Mighty Morphin Power Rangers collection. But so far, awesome figures. So glad I have them. And this figure, these figures came out in the 80s. I think it was the mid-90s Mighty Morphin Power Rangers came out. And since then, I find it very fun and enjoyable. But she does have our trouble holding her weapon. I'm afraid she's going to drop it. Because she fussed with me the whole time getting her to hold it. But yep. She's definitely going on the Power Rangers shelf for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And that's all there is to say for this review. This is Eddie Hill. Moving on. And rock on and rock out. And a debut of what we're going to be reviewing next week for all you Pokemon fans. We got some epic Pokemon figures we're going to be reviewing this week and these are all older ones that i did not have in my pokemon collection so yeah we got pokemon for starting tuesday so stay tuned for some vintage retro vintage pokemon and this is eddie hill moving on and rock on and rock out youtube land